Yeah, he's going to get worse. Well, yeah, but it's also, a lot of it might agitate him and make him a little worse too. Because part of what you're seeing here is just an unchecked prey drive. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's what I, I think it is. Right? So what he needs to do is he needs to harness this prey drive. Hey. Good. To drain him out. Yeah. Dog. Yeah. But it's not enough for him. He has a lot of yeah. energy. Yeah. Yeah. This left unchecked will make it will get worse. Of course. You know. But you're gonna to want to build any of that drive based on a little bit more solid of nerves. Okay. Yeah, just nerves. You want to get him like more dialed in. And again, like I I want to handle the dog as little as possible because I want him to kind of dial into you. For me to take the dog and change something is not going to help you. Okay, so one thing you got is a lot of you're talking to him to yeah. get him to pay back attention to you. So once he's kind of focused on that, when that's not happening, then he's going to lose sight of where he should be, right? What I would do is just be the movement you want him to be, yeah. right? So I would just walk, and then I would just turn. Okay. And then I, again, see, he's not checking in with me yet, right? I would just hear, see what he just did? Yeah. And then he's not checked in, I disappear. See, he's going to watch me much better there peripherally until he starts to go, still not paying attention. Keep this leash really loose. I just, I'm, I'm just going to do that because his collar is going to twist. Here, he's still, he's still a little nervy. So again, just disappear. Come back. Out of the way, and then just give him a calm pet there. So not, not talking. Lose the talking. The talking is part of the energy that's making him a little nervous. Yeah, now he's much more relaxed. Now that's when I'm going to just reach. I'm going to give him one pet. Good boy. And that's it. And I'm, well, that's what I want him to do, right? Because once he gets into that mode, it's a lot easier place for him to kind of like check back into me from. And the leash is really loose, yeah. right? That's when you talk to him. There you go. Good. Good. Real calm. Don't look. Okay, all you're going to do when he sees me is just walk the other way and then come back. Say his name. Sit. Sit. There's a correction. No, he's not sitting. No. Yeah, just say no first. Verbal correction. Good. Good. That's it. One pet. That's it. And then walk away. All right, come closer and closer. Right here. Right here. All right, sit. I see. No, I see. I see. No, correction. And then right away. There you go. That's what you want right there. So, right, so we got to get, the Aussie has to be more command, yeah. not a request. Jimmy. So don't repeat the Aussie, give him a no Aussie, okay. right? Nope. Good. 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 Now you notice he's taking a step back on the Aussie, so he's a little insecure here, right? 
And it's because he's totally chill. He doesn't know what to make of this. Now walk right by me. Excellent. Okay, wait till he's calm. Jimmy. Jimmy. Right, correct that. Good. And then bring him right back. Right back. Now sit or... Right? And don't forget, it's okay to say no, Aussie. No, like, Jimmy, sit, no, sit. Right? Just, just like that. Just real matter of fact. Good. It, this has to be absolute, right? So that means, like, watch. Let him sit. If I'm here, no matter what, if when I say the command, klutz. He's got, he's got to do the command. Right? He can't fight the command. Goofy, here. Foos. Foos. Plots. Stay. What I want, what I want Coda to see here is this idea of, come here. Sit. Ah, see. Right? Good. Then I want him to see that. Good boy. Good. And when he does that, go to, he gets to leave, right? He comes in. Coda. Asi. No. Asi. No. Asi. Good. Coda. Good, good boy. Stay. Plus. Back. 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 Here, Foose. 